five heavy like a runway two five left right to line number two following heavy heavy or bush three mile five. Okay, number two. Hey everyone, Zach here from Real Soon Gear. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up our GTN products. So the GTN 650 and the GTN 750 with Flight One's GTN Complete software. So to start, what you'll want to do is well, step one is just set up the device. So we're Assuming that you've already connected all the cables, set up the touch screen, installed the driver, and all that. So that's where you're going to want to start. If not, you can just follow the guide here and then you'll be good to go. Uh, next step is to download the GTN Complete Package from Flight One Software. So go ahead and download and install that. That's a super simple process. Then what you want to do is open the panel CFG file of the aircraft that you wish to add the GTN to. So you have to do this process for each aircraft that you want to use it for. So we'll do uh, prepared. So we'll go here, we'll go to sim objects, we'll go to airplanes, and we will do, let's do the Mooney Bravo. And you'll want to go to the panel folder and then the panel CFG folder. So once you're here, You'll want to copy and paste this window, this window equals GTN 750 or the window equals GTN 650. So we'll, we'll do both. So we'll copy that and we'll paste this here and then we'll copy that and we'll paste that there. Now you'll see there's these two, uh, number markings change this to 06 and then you would want to change this one to 07 that way the order stays the same so you'll see there's panel 00 01 02 03 04 05 and so when we open the panel cfg file it was only window 05 but if it was let's say window 8 then what we would paste here would be window 09 and window 10. So once you have that done, scroll down a little bit and you'll want to copy this block of code for the GTN 750. So we'll copy that and scroll down in the panel.cfg file. And you'll see the last entry here is Windows 05. So we'll then paste that there and change again this number to 06. And then we'll do the same process again for the GTN 650. So we'll copy and paste. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and save that. Oh, see, I forgot to put the number here. Window. Zero 07. So then we can go ahead and open P3D. And this is the same process for P3D, for FSX. So it's a pretty simple, simple process. And this, this guide works for all. Okay, so now that we're loaded in, load to the aircraft that you just made those changes to. So again, we did the Mooney Bravo. And just make sure I save that file there. So we're doing the Mooney Bravo and we'll load up. Okay. So now that we are loaded inside the aircraft, you'll want to come up here to Vehicle, Instrument Panel, and then click on GTN 750.
and there you go. You got the GTN 750 window there. You can touch to continue, and then you'll want to undock it by right clicking. I usually right click on the edge right here and click on undock window. And then I'll just drag this over to my 750 screen. And then the same thing for the 650. And then we'll right click it, undock window, and drag it over to the 650 screen. And there you go. You have the Flight One software GTN working. It works with the touchscreen, all the knobs and everything work. So it's a pretty simple process. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us at support at realsimgear.com. And I'll see you guys later. Happy simming.